Hello everybody and welcome back to JPDE. Last time we met um, Evelyn who was looking at me a lot and yeah it was pretty weird but now she's showing me around the school. This feels like a wasted... I don't even know anymore. Running where to get food is never wasted time. But we've been here this morning. That's some money bucko. Excuse me? I don't know if you have to pay tuition, it seems like the headmaster is a curious interest in you, but you still need to repay Ruby for your weapon, right? And I bet you want to repay Penny too, somehow. Kind of. She said she just wanted a friend, but a good friend wouldn't let other friends uh, favor go unreturned. So to be a good friend, I must repay her, or maybe buy her a gift. Students can earn some grano by working in the kitchen. So you get paid and you can even work your cooking skills. Good to know. I guess this wasn't a waste of diversion after all. Well, what? Wait! Once again, everyone thrust your hand up at me and collect something out. A small plastic card, no bigger than my thumb fingernail. Just how much stuff does she have in that thing? What's this? It's a digital wallet. Digital wallet. You'll need somewhere to stash your money, no? But yeah, that's where I get 50 bucks. I hope to dear God she didn't just find this laying around. I this asshole of a thing. But if you say the clip is not, I'm just gonna do a quick thing that she's showing me the fucking place here. She gave me a digital wallet. That's the, if the other clip wasn't there. Can't do that. Whatever. I'm pretty sure I saw it because it's all like a other quick thing. Um, can I ask something? Sure, shoot! Isn't it uncomfortable to wear those ears while also wearing a top hat? Oh, Alex. Wear my ears? Uh, yeah. Oh my god. Do you think these are fake? What do you mean, I think? No. She can't. You can't be serious. You're pulling my leg, aren't you? <sighs> Come here. She comes closer and grabs my right hand, then slowly brings it to her exposed ear. Oh my god. If my fingers come in contact with it, it doesn't feel like real fur. It's so soft and velvety. I think that's it. And warm, too. Like a living thing. Oh god, I just felt it twitch. See? Incredible. I keep running my fingers on the edges and gently trace the leather-like skin on the inside. It actually is reminiscent of the feeling of a rabbit's ear. Um, that's enough, no? I find myself bringing also my left hand to the erotic appendage, rubbing my left palm on the furry side to caress it softly. Hey, knock it off! My right hand slowly descends to the spot. What the fuck? <laughs> My right hand slowly descends to the spot where the ear meets the scalp. Remembering that I said not to knock it off. I start and stumble as I'm suddenly, suddenly shoved in the chest. Evelyn jumps back and brings her hands to her ear as if she tried to hide it from me. Her face is, is scarlet and she looks back at me. She's breathing more heavily than before. What's the big idea playing with someone's ear like that? Oh, 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 right. I bet those are pretty sensitive. Sorry, I got carried away by the novelty and softness, and... <sighs> My ears are awesome, I know. But try to not get so carried away next time, especially in public. Yeah, there's hardly anyone in the mess hall right now. But those who are, are staring. I will, sorry. Good, let's go then. Hey, what the hell do you mean by next time? Anvil Theater. This is where me and Penny trained yesterday. From what I hear, it's one of the two most popular training spots at school. Not a lot of places where you can go all out and beacon. Plenty of open space. Makes sense. Ideal if you want to train with someone, if you manage to find it empty, that is. Huh. But this place is so big. <laughs> You've only sparred with Penny so far. 
You don't want to know what a battle between hunters or against Grimm can become. Yes, but still, this is not school. How destructive can it Shit, what the fuck? God damn it, I just had a brain fart. Shit. I don't even... Whatever. I like, don't even know if this is the start of the video or not, I'll figure that out. How distracting and training match between the first year students possibly be? B. Off the war comes from down with this part. We turn around, first the source of the noise. Two students, both girls. One is a wild mane of long blonde hair and wears gauntlets from which we check explosive projectiles. Yang, the other has red hair, similar length, tied in a high ponytail, and wields a shield and spear like they're made of cardboard. So, Pierre and Yang are fighting. They're moving around the amphitheater in what can be only defined as a walk of violence. It don't seem that they're aware of the surroundings. Most of them on a strategic advantage. Exit left? Right behind you. So Yang and Pierre were having a little sparring match. Uh, do I go down to... go to Austin's office? Good morning, Mr. Capicus. Everyone. Hey, our headmaster! The headmaster's office doesn't look too different from the previous day, except for the lack of assistant in general. Also, I just realized he carries some kind of cup. What if it's your coffee drink? Anything I can do for you. Not right now, headmaster. Everyone is showing me around the school. I wanted to become better acquainted with my teammate and stuff. That is a commendable idea. Especially considering that there probably be all of the between me and death for expulsion during the exam. And speaking of teammates, headmaster, isn't there going to be a fourth person joining us? Or our apartment has four beds. Yes. Hopefully a bit before the exam. Sadly, certain circumstances have come up. She will join the three of you on the day of the exam. She? So it's another girl. So I'm on a team with three girls. Hmm, too bad. I wanted to observe her a bit more before the exam. Everyone know. Just a little bit. She won't even notice. You promise not to. To my teammate, but upon just meeting her, she won't be my teammate yet. I just have to do it before we say words to each other. Oh, believe me, there will be words if you act the way you acted with me, someone not half asleep. It's wonderful to see you're getting along. One of the most important bonds you'll make at Beacon is with your teammates. All hunters and huntresses remain tied to their teammates in one way or another after graduation. Huh? Told you we'd be stuck together a lot longer than just the exam. Hunters and huntresses are supposed to become paragons of strength. Uh, pillars of support for those for remnant. Able to stand alone against the tides of darkness. But it's only when they come together that they can overcome the greatest adversaries. I guess that goes double for their simple students. Precisely. Naturally. Thanks for the pep. <laughs> Thanks for the pep talk, Headmaster. Come on, Alex. We've got a lot more school to see. If you need advice, my door is always open. Thank you, Headmaster. I just realized he expects me to become a hunter, doesn't he? Of course he does. So that's pretty much everything. Well, that's enough showing you around the school for now. Let's hit the town. It's almost lunchtime, though. My treat. Oh, come on. I don't want to end up in indebted to the whole school. Okay, what about the dust shot? If you're starting to become a hunter, this is the place for you. After a brief walk through Vale, everyone is brought into a shop with various arrays of differently colored and sized crystals in its window display. Some are as big as my fist, some as small as my thumb, others in the shape of bullets. From dusk till dawn. They have all the dust shop, and the only one that's allowed to keep its name after is Smee Merger, currently finishing renovation. Dust. Ruby mentioned it yesterday while we were talking about weapons, but what's a Smee? That's two questions. What do you want me to talk about first? Tell me what a schnee is, please. Well, I'm, I mentioned a merger. What do you think that is? 
merger is when two businesses become one, right? So it's not a SME, but the SME company. Biggest does trades and all that with, and one of the most powerful organizations for Remnant. They own close to 75% of all operations concerning dust and remnant. Extraction, refining, wholesale, retail, they got it all. Family business. And since the second generation came to power, they got into the R&D too. They sound important. And powerful. But their business practices are not all exactly ethical. Typical. Power corrupts and money is very powerful. So I guess it's fair to not corrupt them. That's the most sensible thing to do, yeah? I like to cross them as much as I can. I should be surprised, but I'm not. Maybe it's related to something more than Evelyn. Yeah, whatever. Moving on. Can you tell me more about this dust? Ruby said that it was some kind of... That it was some kind of power embedded with the power of the element. And used the power of weapons. Yes and no. Yes, dust is a mineral only found in powder form in the wild that contains the power of one of the four elements, fire, water, lightning, and wind. But it's not just used to power weapons. Most of Raymond's technology is based on dust. In one way or the other, the most common way to use it is to fight with bullets and crystals. You can also do your clothes and stuff in small common field base. I see. Okay. That sounds very versatile, and cool, and very important. Hunters can do some pretty cool stuff with just ore and semblance, but it's how well you use those and dust that both sets your high above the rest. And it also gives normal people a fighting chance. Not everyone is a student at Combat Academy, but almost everyone can learn how to fire a gun. Thanks for the information, everyone. You're welcome. Oh. While we were talking, an old man has gotten out of the shop and is now sticking a fire to the side of the door. Once that's over, and he opens the door of the shop and steps back inside. A closer look reveals that it's an ad offering a part-time position at the shop. Well, will you look at that? He found you in a prospective job. You think I could work here? But I don't know anything about using or handling dust. The flyer says no previous experience required, so the old man is willing to teach you about the dust. That actually makes sense. I'll definitely keep this place in mind once it opens. What? What? Weiss? Weiss? What? What? Is that you? That is not Weiss. So it. That is why she... What is this outfit? What is this? What is this? You can't see my cursor. I am squirting around. I... My custom order should have a rest. Why are you... What is this outfit? I... Don't understand. I'm confused. Very confused. This is Main Street. It runs all the way from the north end to the south end of Vale City. There are a lot of shops. If you need to buy anything common, or just want to grab a bite to eat, Main Street is the place for you. I could tell it was wife because she had this color in her eye. But more specialized shops are scattered through the city. Instead to find them, you need to know where you to look. There's also Market Street, but right now it's closed because of renovations. Ugh, probably redoing the pavement and especially doing the broken glass. I'm so, so sorry. Still, Main Street is the best place for small shopping and to go on dates. If I ever find anyone wanting to go on one, sure. Oh, come on, you're not that socially awkward. I could be. Maybe I just forgot. Well, so far, you're not giving me that vibe. And you're attractive enough. Are you always this blunt? Nah. Just when it can mess with people's heads. Consider me mess. Roger. Let's continue the tour now. Are we gonna see anyone here? No, you're just only gonna make me question seeing white in an outfit I've never seen before. 
There doesn't seem to be much in this side street. Looks like she's quite dressed up for some kind of fucking anime. It does remind me of one with the dumpster where I hid while waiting for Penny, though. Why are these green, by the way? I don't understand. Keep in mind, this, my friend, is a shortcut to one of the most known places in Vale. And that would be... Hmm, you're still not ready to know. Way too green. But I can tell you that it opens at night. So she just brought me here to dangle a damn carrot in my face? Jeez. She is a bunny. She loves carrots. Also, my fucking game is freaking up that. And speaking of carrots. So I didn't get a chance to ask you before, but what's the deal with the ears? Well, I thought it was obvious. They're cute, soft, and make me adorable. Okay, I got that. What I mean is, why do you have them? Because I'm a bonus. Duh. Evelyn? Pisk. You could have at least begged me a little. Why does she want me to beg her all of a sudden? Bonnets are just like humans, except they have some animal-related traits. Some have ears, some have claws, some have tails. Even every single one of them can be seen in the dark. Haven't seen many around, though. Well, you haven't been in Bale that long, and Bay is... I thought to say Bay. Beacon is all, almost empty right now, remember? Bonnets are not as numerous as humans. And most of them try to keep them themselves scarce. A lot still prefer to live outside of the Four Kingdoms. In the middle of Grim Country? Why is that? Because most humans are a bunch of racist assholes. And the last war we had on Remnant was about gathering up all the flies and confining them and confining us on a fish shaped island. That? You're actually serious. Yup, the island is called Menagerie, too. It was supposed to be a gift after the Great War, but not everyone fell for it. Not that dick move if I ever heard of one. But why? I mean, are fawn, are fawn is dangerous or something? You're an idiot. No more than humans nowadays. When it was all rocks and wind cloth, we might have had a slight advantage, but... Then, why? Hmm, long story. I have a theory or two, but we have a tour to get back to. Take a note in your skull about it. Cute bunny owes me a history lesson. You're actually You're making, actually a, note making a note about it? Something important. Something important. <laughs> good student. Good student. Everyone sent Everyone sent please. 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 Glad you are. Glad you are. Don't see anyone. Don't see anyone. Oh, there's Blake. Oh, there's Blake. She's wearing. She's Her wearing normal, normal outfit. outfit. Why was wife Why was wearing, wife that, wearing that fucking, fucking thing? weird thing? Also, I need to also, I need to update game this tomorrow. game tomorrow. This is a new update. The new update out. comes out the next day. Next day. I waited. I a waited a week to do my parents are here for me to do. Fuck. Fuck. That's pretty much it. That's pretty much it for, it. for, it. for it. now. For now. Let's keep me. Let's keep me. Here we go. Let's play the fun girl. Almost sundown. Almost sundown. Wanna do? Wanna do? We're going back. We're going back to Beacon. Well, there's well, one there's thing. One thing. What do you? What do you want? That one, one thing. Evelyn, Evelyn, what, 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 did you say the what name, you say the name, say the name was, whatever was, flick, flick, Neopop, Neopop, oh no, oh no, Winston has made too many jokes, too many jokes about, about this, Neopop, Neopop, a patch, 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 patch of strawberries, 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 vanilla, and vanilla, and chocolate, and chocolate. for the price of one price flavor, one flavor, flick, this is good indeed, this is good indeed. I wonder if I've tried, I if I've tried this before, I've forgotten, only forgotten about it, flick, flick, I just had a fun thought, flick, flick, what is it? What Wick, is it? Wick. If I already tried, I already it, tried forgotten about, forgotten about it. it. I'm the only person, I'm the only who person who alive, who alive, who alive who who eating me a fucking ice cream. Ice cream. First what? time, first time, Wick. So unfair. So unfair. Also grody. Also grody. Uh, able to uh, joke about, about, about it after two days. Wick. Wick. Guess Penny finding me around with a little bad dog to shot. Penny's been kind of helping, kind of helping. Wick. Wick. Only kind of. Only kind of. Wick. Hmm. Okay. Maybe a little more. Maybe a little more. Wick. Damn straight. Damn straight. Wick. Speaking of Penny, Speaking I wonder, of Penny, where, she I wonder where she is. is. Wick. She's probably, she's probably helping Ruby, helping with, the Ruby with the weapon. Wick, wick. <laughs> all right, all oh, right, how, how, that's how, that's going. Yeah. Uh, I can't believe I, I can't believe all, all night, all night, and all day, all working, day on working on this. The idea kept, kept coming, 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 coming. 
Thank God, I thank saw God, him I saw on the island, and he came by to ask, by to ask you, you know, here, you know, you're going to break, watch, break, watch, and went to town. Oh, what oh, are you doing, this, doing myself, this to myself? Ruby Rose, Ruby Rose said, said no. Said no. But you could have just, you could have just uh, uh, taken it easy. Taken it easy. They didn't need, they didn't need a Sunday. Sunday. Oh, they, oh, they, yeah. Hey, Ruby, hey, Ruby, working on that thing. Working on that thing. Hey, Yang, hey, Yang, I am, I am, I am, I'm almost done, I'm almost done though. Hmm. Now we're gonna push over. Push over. Is it at least a good one? Is it at least a good one? Of course it is. Of course it is a good one. I mean, I mean, remember. And, and you're severally, severally surprised. surprised. You sure this thing sure is going to blow, 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 blow our guy's face? Poor guy's face? Of course not. Of course not. No. Well, ninety percent. I know. No. I see. I see. What? What? Y Yang. Y Yang. Let me down. Let me down. Only on your Only bed. Only on your bed. Damn, with damn, kid. With kid. Get some rest. Get some rest. Working on that working on that lesson, okay? For the sake of both, sake of both of us. User, user. And keeping your keeping your clean and accidental man water. Look we'll at this we'll property, property, damage, property damage, punch, damage, punch, punch, tree, 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 whatever, whatever. That's different, that's different. I was in total, I was in total, my mental, my mental facilities, my facilities, my crap, crap, that club. Stop being proud, stop being proud, charge all charges. When you stop being, you stop being, get stubborn and get some sleep. Cheater, cheater, mailer, black mailer. That's pain, that's pain. I'm going to put up the stuff. Okay, so we're forcing her to, we're her to spot her. She doesn't, she doesn't. <sighs> oh, so what's going here? So you are positive that you won't blow your cover or expose yourself? Yes, sir. I can properly simulate sleep and eating won't be a problem either, right? Austin is now convinced you have special needs because of health issues, yes? Wonderful. I still think it is unnecessary risk, Penny. Sir, I'm here to test myself as a fighter, but I think it's also a good occasion to test my level of integration with people. You developed the Atlas in Night 200 models to look more like humans, and to act more human-like, to give a proper greater sense of security. We both know how important this is. And Beacon is more is a more controlled environment than Vale City, as the Headmaster said. I guess I will have to live with them out of risk, will I? Yes. My whatever can this be? What I'm wondering is if you were taking that risk into account yourself, Benny. What do you mean, sir? I've been on many battlefields, Penny, both with and without weapons, and I learned one lesson above all. People, people can be unexpectedly cruel to those who are different. My, my files collaborate that, yes. Calvary, I think it was Calvary, or whatever. We had a war because some of us wanted to surpass individually, another because some of us thought that those with animal traits are lower than animals. Unnaturally. I'm afraid of how they would treat someone who wasn't born and yet lives. I respect your courage, Penny. I just hope you won't have to see the ugly side of people anytime soon. I... I will be careful. They will never find out. Mm. They won't. Back safe and sound with your, with all your blood inside your body. No, mysterious writing splattered over random walls of the city today? No siree. And all in a day, I have to admit, I had fun exploring with Evelyn. She's fun, full of energy, and surprisingly knowledgeable. Granted, everyone looks uh, knowledgeable compared to me, but she's much smarter than what she appears to be at first glance. So, wanna go see what Penny's been up to? Sounds good, huh? What's going on? As I look towards the sky, my sight falls on a familiar figure in a cloak standing in front of a main building gate. She's petite and holding a briefcase in her hand. She raises her head as she lays her eyes, then she flexes. My eyes widen as see her rushing a breaking speed in our direction. Everyone watch it! I push her out of the river. Barely. <laughs> but the ball never comes. Pat, pat. Never. 
Oh wait, no, no, no. I was looking, looking pat, pat, was pant, pant. Never. Instead, what I got in the brief, I get is the briefcase thrust in front of my body. Hey, what's the big idea? Evelyn gets off the ground, dusts off her clothes as so she takes in the situation. What did you throw me? No, why are you running at us like that, dude? Huh? I think it's a girl, Evelyn. The figure just keeps panting out of breath. I wish she would lower the briefcase already so I could see. Wait, a red hood. Ruby? Never, ever do something like this to me again. Oof. She suddenly shoves the briefcase in my arms and lets go. If I take a better look at her, I realize her hair is in a mess. And she looks like she really needs a shower and a few hours of sleep. All nighters. I can handle. But you, but your juicy ideas kept me up all day. I barely ate or went to the bathroom. And, and Yang treated me like a baby. Well, if you were... Uh, well, what the fuck? Well, if you were forgetting about eating or getting any rest, that's probably a little warranted. She put me over her shoulder like a sack of red potatoes and used common sense on me. Common sense! So... What do you mean? Uh, oh, right. You don't know yet. Well, suffice to say, I felt dumb and helpless. And just a little bit gr grateful because I really needed my sleep, but still. Okay, got it. I won't ask you to build me a weapon ever again. Although, technically, it was Penny who asked, but I'm the direct benefactory here. Good. Now, are you going to gaze upon this perfection? Her gaze falls on briefcase and mine, and everyone follows suit. My weapon is complete. You completed it in less than 24 hours? Yeah, yeah. I'm awesome. Open it. I want to see your face. Here I go, then. I feel my heart pulsating in my chest. An excitement. I can't really explain permitting me as my hands go to the briefcase metallic latch after placing it on a nearby bench. Let's see. Ooh. I can see the whip right there. What well, kind of cool. Once I pop open the latch, I see this is a, Ruby's got a little, uh, it's definitely Ruby's little briefcase, so you can see that right there, a little symbol. The briefcase opens easily, unraveling its contents in the artificial light of the lamp post. The inside of the briefcase is covered in red fabric, and the inside rests twin gauntlets of silver and blue. One of the long wit made of a uh, similar metal wrapped around the... This is beautiful. Incredible. Awesome. Terrific. All of that and above. But how does it work? I'm glad you asked. Important thing. First to use... Okay. First, to use... To use dust, you grab a crystal and crush it in your grip. I have to... What? With aura, you can do it like that. Breathe. You can do it like that. Breathing, silly. Ah, right. So I crush it in my grip. Yes. If you crush it with the right gauntlet while the whip is still around it, it becomes charged with crystals in for a period of time. So you got ice whip, fire whip, shadow whip, and so on. Nice. I can already picture the image in my head. Vividly in detail, a whip flashing in anger repeatedly dozens of times in rapid succession. Each small injury catching fire or freezing the part of his body. Uh, a little too vividly, maybe. What the hell is that? Otherwise, the charge stays in the gauntlet until you transfer it. Or whip, or sh or shawan. You can shoot it out. How can you shoot something out of a gauntlet? From the palms, look! Ruby grips the right gauntlet and turns it on its back, exposing a metallic circle on the palm. From here, you just need to quickly snap your fingers open, and if you do it with the left gauntlet, you get a rapid fire machine gun. If you do it with the right, you can charge and shoot one projectile boom. Um, I guess you'll have to practice aiming though. It's not your conventional gun, but no weapon of mine will, will lack a gun model. Oh, I see. Damn, you really thought this through. Of course I did. Well, after I swept some. Good. All that's needed now is a name then. I already thought of one. Shouldn't he be the one to name it? 
since he's going to use it? My baby, my name. And Penny said I could. But Alex is the one who thought of the concept. I'm the one who carried it on terms. Alright, alright, it was a shared effort. What's the name you thought of, Ruby? I took a page out of the old school book for this one, Alex. So, Alex, may I introduce you to... Janny... Janny Costor. I'm not gonna ever say that. Old school. You and Ancient Ben Curier. No one asked for your opinion, um, Cotton Tail. Oh, how do you know that my tail was ripped off a long time ago? What? She's just joking, Ruby. Also, I had the feeling that they ruined what was supposed to be a cool moment. Well, thanks, Ruby. I love it. And I'll be sure to repay you. What? You're not going to try it? We're kind of in the middle of a school courtyard, and I wanted to show it to Penny first, actually. Yeah, I don't think she'd like you to start swinging it around without her supervision. And let's go show her! And then tomorrow we can try it all out together. All together. If you think I'm not going to be there for my baby's first day of school, you got another thing coming. Well, in here I thought I was obsessed about stuff. Good stuff or bad stuff. Alright, everybody, that's it for this episode, JPDE. I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you in the next one. Peace out.